So then we're moving on to the games. Merla is, um, she's such an introvert. <laughs> she's such an introvert. Um, I think the question was, who's most likely to leave a party early? Everybody said Merla. Uh, the biggest drama queen, Ivan said this. It was going to be Johnny. And then the most petty, everybody voted Michaela. Not everybody, but the majority of them did vote. Michaela was the most petty. And, and Michaela wore that like a crown. She was like, uh-huh, I am very petty, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what she was saying, but she was like, I am so petty, blah, blah, blah. I am petty, petty, petty boots. And so Zach looked so miserable because, again, she was being overly dramatic, Michaela. And Zach was sitting next to her like, oh, my God. So then they go to bed and they get in the bed, Michaela and Zach. Everybody goes to bed. Michaela and Zach... But they get in the bed together and Michaela made sure that she put a pillow right there in between them. And so Zach is on his phone. And I, I don't know. I don't know if Michaela had been drinking. I don't know if she was just being like, she was just, you know, exhausted with what was going on, you know, with her and Zach and that all the talking and all the conversations and all of that. I don't know. But when Michaela got in the bed, she looked, I don't know. This is not, I don't want to. I don't want to um, make light of uh, mental illness, but she looked kind of deranged or kind of crazy. She had like a crazy look in her eye and something just told me it's about to be, it's about to be some, 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 some drama. It's about to be some drama because she kind of had that look in her eye like she was, just she was just ready she was ready to go all night she was just ready to put on a show like she was just just she looked just kind of crazy so uh and she started it off which i felt like mm, i don't know if it's a good idea right now to really go into to be to talk to have another heavy conversation but i think she asked him um i think she asked him so what did you think about tonight or how are you feeling she opened up the conversation and then zach says that um the conversation that they had earlier was unacceptable so that's what started it off so zach said there were two there are two different michaela's which yeah i can kind of see that there are kind of like two different michaela's um i really think there's only one michaela and i think that there's just level of craziness <laughs> It's just one Michaela, but they're just like different levels of craziness. So, um, Michaela tells him, uh, she tells him to leave. And, um, I, I, yeah, I don't know what exactly led up to her saying that, but he said that there, there, like there's two different Michaela's. I don't know if, if more was said after that. If there wasn't, I didn't write it down. I don't remember. But then Michaela ends up telling him, you know, well, you can just leave. You can just go now. And she says, you know, I really wish that we had driven in separate cars because um, I didn't want to worry about having, you know, having a way to get home. And um, Zach says, so he wanted to confirm, you know, it's like, okay, so you really... Uh, you don't want to drive back with me. Because I don't remember how it all started, but she tells him to leave, to go. She wanted to drive in separate cars. And um, did he say that he was going to leave? Is that how he started off saying that he was just going to leave? Or did she tell him to leave? I don't remember how it started. But he made up his mind that he was going to leave. And then he was like, well, you know, we can still drive back together in the morning or something. And she was like, no, no, you can leave now. You can leave. You're dismissed. You can go. And he was like, okay, I just want to be clear. You want me to leave. You do not want to drive home with me. I just want to be clear on that. And she says, um, yeah, she says, yeah, I don't want to drive with you. Zach wants to confirm that Michaela doesn't want to drive back with him because if not, he says he's he's leaving. He just he wanted it to, you know, reaffirm, you know, just clarify, let's be on the same page about this. And she kept on saying, I don't want to drive back with you. She was like, good, bye, go away. So Michaela calls her sister to come pick her up. And he was like, he didn't understand why she did that. Oh, because you know what? She changed her mind again. After she had told him to leave, go away, I think she said that, you know, that they could drive back together. But then she calls her sister and says, come pick me up. And then 
Zach was like, well, you just said that you wanted to drive back with me. And then Michaela was like, I didn't say that. When did I say that? So the producers or the show rolled back the tape where she actually said that they could drive back together. Now she's on the phone with her sister telling her sister can pick me up because, you know, things aren't working out. And then Zach says, well, let me talk to her. So he takes the phone from Michaela, talks to the sister. I forgot what he told the sister, but he was like, you know, we're having an issue here. The same issue that we've been having. And then Michaela snatches the phone away. Away from him and she was like I just want you know I guess she wanted her sister to come pick her up um Zach doesn't like who oh then Zach gets up and he tells Michaela you know I don't like myself I don't like who I've become since being with you I don't like the person that I am and so this is just not working out and she's like okay you know whatever you can just go you can just leave then she tells him that he need, then he's like getting ready to go and then she tells him you know what I really think you need to stay and just sleep on it you can't go out there because it's you know it's at night it's in the middle of the night it's dark out there you're in the country you should just wait until the morning or take a nap and he's like no I can't do it I'm leaving so he actually proceeds to walk out of the bedroom he is like got his hat on he's got his suitcase with him and he walks out of the room and then Michaela follows him out of the room and um Bao you know she's like peeking out of her bedroom to see what the hell's going on and Michaela is begging him to stay she wants now she wants him to stay um he's like nope I'm not, I'm not, I can't do this. I'm leaving. And so then she goes back into her room and she reminds him, you know, you, how petty she can be. She's like, well, you know, don't forget how petty I can get. And then, um, or did she say that? I don't remember. At some point, anyways, so he's leaving, right? And she, she wants him to stay. He wants to leave. He goes all the way. She's begging him to stay. Zach is begging to leave. Michaela, Dem so then he goes outside and all the rest of the group, the rest of the couples are outside around the fire pit. He comes out with his suitcase and he's like, you know what? I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm leaving. That's, you know, I, I gotta go. I gotta leave. Everybody's like, no, you can't leave. It's too late. You know, it's not safe out there. You need to just, you know, sleep on it. And he's like, no, I gotta leave. Michaela comes out outside and um, she like, holds on to him and she's begging him to stay and then Bao comes you know and she tries to calm Michaela down and as Zach is getting into his car um she's t Michaela tells Ryan because Ryan was standing there Bao was standing there by the car and Michaela is telling Ryan um you think you, you don't think this is right or you think this is not healthy or whatever because I guess Ryan had has said something about how this isn't healthy or something like that and so Michaela was like well you're saying it's not healthy so get in the car with them go go with them right now you you, you know you leave till you go with him I don't know if she meant that as in you know he needs to have someone with him because he can't drive you know around in the middle of the night by himself or if she was like well, you don't agree with what we're doing here, so you can leave too. Like dismissing him too. I really wasn't clear. But she was telling Ryan, you can go leave with him or make him stop, whatever she was telling Ryan. And so Ryan was saying, you know, he's a grown man. He can leave if he wants. There's nothing anybody can do to stop him. What do you want us to do? Jump on top of the car? No, he's going to leave. So just let him leave. And so... Ryan then tells Michaela that, you know, we probably would have had a chance to have him to keep him to, to make him stay. But then, you know, she comes out with her dramatics and, you know, she's acting crazy, begging him to stay. And so he got even more turned off and he left. So then here we have Hurricane Michaela. So when Zach is driving off in his car into the night, into the dark, dark, dark night, Hurricane Michaela goes she stomps back into the home into the house and she is like trying to flip things over but not being very successful at it so she's walking through the living room she's walking through the house and she's just trying to you know turn things over throw things she goes into her bedroom um we cut away then we come back to Michaela she's in the bedroom there's a producer that is literally holding her back because she is completely out of control there's a female producer with her arms wrapped around her holding her back because she's like trying to get to the door and she's yelling at the cameraman you know get out get out and then she slams the door with all the strength of every woman who's ever spiraled out of control when she's been uh, disrespected by a man she just slams that door shut 
And um, yeah, that was the end of that. Then when we came back from commercial, we found out that um, uh, from according to Bao, Michaela's sister came and picked her up at some point. I don't know if it picked her up that night or picked her up the... Because I know if I was her sister, I wouldn't be driving around at night into the country to pick anybody up. So I don't know if she came that night or if she came the next morning. But anyway, the next morning, everyone is sitting around breakfast. Johnny, I guess, must have been passed out or asleep. He completely missed the entire um, scene with Michaela and Zach. So they everybody catches him up on it. And also... Um, at some point, Michaela had thrown a wine glass because someone said that they heard uh, glass breaking. And then someone else said, yeah, that was Michaela. She threw a wine glass. And so at the end of all of that, um, who was it that said it? Someone said, oh, you know, it's the original eight couples again, you know. We were 10, then we were 8, then we were 10, now we're back to 8 again because at the honeymoon, uh, Michaela and Zach weren't at the honeymoon. Well, Zach was there quarantining. Michaela went back to Houston, so there was still 8 couples at the honeymoon, and now it's 8 couples sitting around the breakfast table. Later on, Brett and Ryan and Johnny and Bao, you know, they're talking to each other separately. And um, they're talking about, you know, it seems like they're 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 trying. Um, Brett and Ryan are trying, Johnny and Bao are trying. And um, I think even Johnny said this in his confessional that one thing that he does like about Bao is that she always sees the positive in things, you know, and um, she's always trying, to, she's always willing to try new things. So he does like that about her. And it was like so refreshing to hear him say something so positive. And I think Brett and Ryan, they are, they're also taking little tiny itty bitty little baby steps into trying to regroup. I guess, reconnect. So that is the end of my very long review. And if you made it this long, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And that one person who watched my review of uh, my book review of the book Passing by Nella Larson, I really appreciate you, whoever you are. Um, I like reading. I love books and I want to start doing more book reviews, whether y'all watch them or not. I don't care. I'm going to still do them. So that one person who watched my book review on the book Passing, I really do appreciate you. I really do. So thanks for joining me and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.